morning. So our goal today is to put these beams in place and we're gonna concrete, we're gonna pour concrete in the piers and currently right now we're just gonna do the corners so we can find out how much concrete it takes to fill up here and then we get the right amount. And then we're gonna get these in place and go from there. So that's our goal for today. And then if we have time, we're gonna build a prototype of the A-frame and see if we can physically lift it, like Dwayne and I, and see if we're strong enough to lift it on our own. And if not, we're gonna build it in two parts, the lower part of the A and then the upper part of the A. So let's see what we get done today. Okay, so we have the beams in their temporary place. So they're 24 feet long. We have to notch and attach the centers. So it's not a huge overhang, but it's enough to do some anchoring. And then these are 14 feet. They're super heavy because they're wet. So we're warming up the tractor and let the tractor carry them. And then they go over here across. Hi, Obi. <laughs> Hello. All right, so we're gonna put this up on the bucket. We'll attach it and then let the tractor carry it. That worked pretty well. Now we just have to adjust it. Good job, honey. So they're all in place and now we just have to wiggle them into the right position. No yep, no heavy lifting. We're too old for that. Okay, so now we're gonna get a um, position, figure out how they all work. And then we're gonna start filling the cells with some concrete. It's super cold. I don't know if you can see that. It's maybe 30 degrees. It's cold. So. Yeah. Good job, honey. Hey, okay, let's test. Let's see what the bedroom floor Ooh. is going to be like. This is live. Not live. This is being recorded. Ooh, Look at it's that. too level. Yay, it's That's still perfect. Oh, what? I think the bubble grew. It's what? not supposed to be that big. Look at that. <laughs> good job. Good job. So now he is marking where he's going to notch overlap. these so they can overlap and we can just tie them together with some five inch anchor, anchor screw things. We had to put some shims in to make them exactly uh, even with each other because they're not perfect. They were just about uh, anywhere from an eight to a quarter inch difference in thickness. Yeah. So even though our <laughs> measurements were the same. Because it runs through a, a press. And so it it all depends on the, the wood, the tree shrinks it pretty much by pressure alone. You know, wow. With the well, fluid, liquid. cedar shims. Yeah. Now they're true to each other and pin together
Okay, all the beams are now put together. They have all been fitted. A couple of them required shims. So they are done. Now we are going to be doing some concrete. Yeah. For the concrete, we are going to use these, believe it or not, God provides. So to anchor the beams to the piers, normally you use rebar, but we didn't have rebar, but a neighbor um, here brought a bunch of like random stuff. So we're gonna cut the tops of these off and then use one each and sink it into the concrete, uh, nail it to the beam. And so then they'll be anchored. There's 12 of these, there's 12 of those. And so then they'll be anchored into the pier. But before we do that, we have to square this all up. So that's what we're gonna do really quick is get it square. Okay, everything is squared. Now we're gonna cut these ends off. Okay, we got one done. We're using concrete that uh, a friend gave us. It's a little dry or little whatever you call it. It's rocky, but it'll work. The sun is setting. We're calling it a day. It's a day. So we it's got, yeah, we got all the corners except for two yeah so we we got all these in putting concrete in the corners to anchor it so we only have two left we um forgot to square up these piers when we first did them so don't look it's square <laughs> it's well, square but the piers aren't but, uh, we found that we left this whole wall out so but it's cool i mean look it's gonna be perfect yeah. And the water tank's going here anyway, you'll never see it because I'm going to have a bench here and a door right here and a step. So, that'd be cool. So, I think that was a good day's work. Yeah. Good job, honey. Good job, honey. All right, let's go cook some dinner. <laughs> okay, <laughs> do it. Pork chops. Okay, good morning. It's now Sunday and we're going to finish up with the concrete and then build that um prototype to see if we can do the a-frame that's what's on the agenda today i wanted to show you this so this is some of the concrete that was donated to us and it's like chunky so we are using this tamper to break it up he's going to demonstrate this is my job but he's demonstrating it it's both of our jobs right just you've been doing more of it this time around. And then for the big yeah. ones that don't break, we use that little hammer and it works out awesome. Yeah. Really but big chunk this we great. found out in the woods here was an old water tank. Oh, yeah, it was right over there. Oh. And so it's a perfect concrete crusher. Yeah. And these things, as you can see, hard as a rock. But we crush them up and we've and got they, a lot they, done. This is leftovers from when I did the solar pole. So two years old, that's been under a tarp. Oh, this is ours. We've already used up what our neighbor gave us. Yeah, the red bag, the 60 pounds, this is 80 pounds. Okay, that's the last of a red bag though. Yeah. We haven't opened these yet. Yeah, this is a finer stuff here. It's the high strength. So okay. You know, you don't have as much uh, clumpage. But we have exactly enough concrete here between donated and previously bought to finish the corners of the cabin so it's perfect yeah, yeah, yeah. all right bag. we're gonna get to work and then um we'll start the prototype that should be fun the outside and corner piers are all poured and they have we use those choice hangers so we'll throw some screws in there just to keep these from moving and 
we're gonna go eat lunch and then we are going to make our prototype of course we have to clean up our mess okay this is the final rough draft this is not like squared or anything this is just a pretend just so we can visualize so this is the same dimensions that the old cabin was this is 18 and a half feet from bottom to the peak um, this is 16 feet across this is the pony walls that the roof sat on which are will be 53 inches tall that's what those are and then this is the steep a-frame um, the old cabin this drip edge went all the way down to the ground um, that is you can't hardly tell but that's the gambrel peak this ceiling is eight or no this ceiling is 10 this is 14 this is 60 and that is it so we're wrapping up next weekend we're gonna god willing start framing up the floor all right i did i've already done this once before and i forgot to hit record so thank you for watching stay tuned let's see if weather holds out and we can actually start the floor thank you bye i'm laying inside the cabin i'm just checking it out checking to see if i feel claustrophobic in here i just want you to know that i don't i'm just feeling the space i'm just feeling what it will feel like i think i'm gonna like it i could just imagine right now i'm in the kitchen laying on the floor it's gonna be amazing <laughs> I you don't. Just want it so bad. I want it so bad. I'm feeling it. Okay. I guess I'll let you guys go now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>